so we have this recreated one thing might be missing be before we are jumping on uh, the skinning process and that is actually uh, the eyes so the eyes are not created there's no eye rig yet so I'll, I will do that uh, okay we have freezing everything right click uh, on hide all because uh, the eyes were just hidden and I will isolate these eyes and replace them front view okay and I will just create a so this is actually a symmetry I will remove the symmetry okay one eye now don't know where the center point is so I will turn back on pivot point affect pivot center to object now this one is mapping to the center of the object that's fine it's easier and I will create a simple sphere because this one is a modeled eye and it's too high in resolution so I will create a simple sphere from the front view and shift A you know is it is the quick align left view alt X to make it see through and just change the radius to fit the model now there is a chance that uh, uh, because we have this negative area for example in this sculpt uh, that the pivot points are not matching I will do it manually so I will drag these this sphere until it matches and as you see it just shows up uh, through the wireframe now checking in the front and that's pretty much fine okay I will delete the original one and alt X having this alt X right so it's within the head it's pretty nice don't forget the head is still frozen so and uh, I will add some segments uh, instead of 32 I will add 40 or uh, 50 oh that's quite it's nice and dense and uh, to make it a little bit more um, believable I will open up material editor and add an eye material so that will be eye and not a standard one I will use um, a physical material and this physical material will be a um, glossy paint so but of course I don't want to use anything like that this really bright stuff uh, and add it to the material and instead of this base color I will use a uh, gradient ramp and the gradient ramp will be uh, just let me show it here it's not looking that nice so I will uh, use a different kind of a map a UV map is needed and uh, UV map is it's coming from the front that's pretty nice now the the this gradient works uh, an interesting way you have an interpolation to solid you can switch it and in this way it will uh, start from one color and without any um, kind of a blending it will go straight through uh, to another one now the gradient type is still linear so we have a left right but when you switch it to a radial now you're starting from the center outwards this is a quick and simple way and uh, an easy way to to create an eye and you can even change the size of the pupil you can uh, modify it here and there so it's if you're just designing the eye uh, it's a good habit to to use this uh, simple gradient option now this one's black and this color is um, actually this is a gray color I will use this uh, instead of this gray color I will, I will call it some kind of a, a uh, greenish so that's pretty nice and we'll change the size to make it smaller and what I do need I do need another model and that will be a white one or I do prefer to add some rim a smaller rim okay and add now another color and that will be the white color that that will be the closing color okay so yes here we go this is it I'm not sure if it's uh, absolutely perfect and refined but uh, as it is it's fine now this will be because it's a mesh it will be C head and mesh and that will be an eye 
and because it's a right eye it will receive an R okay so right eye R I'm going back in front and um, checking the uh, position along the X axis now as you see this is my position I will copy that position and drag and rename so I made a copy of the eye that will be mesh eye alright and I will paste the value uh, but I want to remove the negative so right now it's an absolute perfect symmetrical uh, stuff okay um, the head is a little bit oh I can leave it because it's fr frozen now what I have to do I want to create a target I want to drive and control the eyes I want to control where they're looking at now to do that when uh, I have a problem so first of all I'm, I can control the orientation of the eyes orientation is equal with rotation but the position is controlled by the head the head itself I want to move I want to change the position of the eyeballs when I'm changing the position of the head that's quite obvious but I want to follow uh, a different target line um, to to keep the eyes on something uh, that's uh, that's controlling them now that controller will be a standard controller we already used so that will be a circle and I'm holding down snap so pressing S now snap is on uh, the button released I will create a circle in the center right click because I don't want it anymore and pressing S to turn off the snap now I will move it closer to the eyes okay somewhat in line with the eye and I will change uh, this uh, make it a little bit smaller and I don't think we need that much of a size so I will reduce that to zero comma or zero point depending on your computer setup and that will be an C head control and zero zero uh, that's that's that is probably five and I okay just let me quickly check it so and H if you press H that will show the select by name dialog it actually it's a good way and I'm, I'm working with layers it's a good way to check control one two three four five that's fine okay I will leave it as it is and uh, I have to grab this controller and put it in front of the head somewhat here okay that's pretty nice so the eyes will look through this uh, controller and uh, the color is let me keep it to full yellow okay like it now it's not enough um, I cannot directly if I'm linking the eye the eyeballs to the head actually uh, I cannot make uh, the effect of uh, the orientation constraint so what I will do I will use an in-between model that in-between model is a helper that helper is a point helper but the point helper can get different shape different type of shapes so in this case I will use a point helper um, created in the front view so from the helpers in the create panel I will use point and just tapping a point somewhere and going back to the perspective and uh, if you press shift A that's quick align now you can quick align this point helper exactly to the position of the eyeball um, and then we will go to the um, uh, modifier panel and turning on box um, the cross I will leave the cross on but resize the box to fit to the eyeball oh that's nice and I will rename it to actually point helper so C head because this is the guy and this is a um, uh, help in I R a okay copy this one and move it and rename it to left and also align it because it's not aligned that so shift a just to align hit on now these guys are aligned that's absolutely perfect 
okay I'm pressing Ctrl H to make a hold and by turning off geometry the following will be performed I want to link these sockets so these point helpers are actually acting like sockets and of course the eye sockets will travel will move with the bones so I will turn off geometry shift G because I don't want to accidentally link my eyeballs I want to link just the sockets so I'm selecting uh, both actually to make it a little bit faster and select and link starting from one okay accidentally moved away starting from one holding down the left mouse button and I want to link these to the bone okay highlight appeared now testing my movement rotation okay eye sockets are moving with the head perfect I'm pressing shift G again and now check the geometry okay now what's next of course I want to rotate these guys uh, in perspective so these uh, these guys are ready to to move on but uh, I have to link uh, the eyeballs to their own sockets so um, selecting eyeball make sure that it's easy to select later on this one uh, so I always catch a view so this one is also linked to its own respective uh, eye socket if the eye sockets are not named properly just checking it all right now uh, when I'm moving the head what happens the eyeballs are moving with this of course the eyeballs are not yet following the target now how to make them follow the target I'm selecting the eyeball and uh, going to the animation and using constraints and using an orientation constraint I'm oh, sorry look at constraint and look at constraint will be positioned to the uh, eye controller now don't be surprised it can flip this is happening because uh, by default uh, this is always trying to match the, the pivot points and because we haven't aligned the pivot points uh, this will happen but in, in within the adjustments of the look at constraint in the motion panel rotation look at constraint we have an option uh, that is keep initial offset so when you are hitting on keep initial offset it will snap back okay now the other thing is you have a line uh, of, uh, of the view and sometimes it is disturbing so I will do just a uncheck of view line and absolute and from now on where you have the target uh, there you have uh, the center of the of the eye so now, now this is what happens when you're moving away the uh, eye um, uh, target uh, of course the eyeball will follow it and when you rotate the head uh, the eye is always keeping on focus now this is quite funny now <laughs> okay undo and undo the, f the position changes and we still have uh, the other side so eyeball right side selected and uh, animation constraints look at constraint looking at the eye target flipping is on so I have to go here keep initial offset and view line length absolute is turn off now uh, it's we are not there yet what we have to do is uh, when you start tilting the head it's not visible but when you start tilting the head just let me just let me quickly open up material editor and I will switch it this temporarily to I don't know four quarter right so when you start rotating the head this is what happens the eyeballs are trying to maintaining the upright position they are like um, electric cars uh, like receiving electricity from from the top wire and the air wire uh, they are always maintaining this kind of a position now it's not really not good if you have a painted eye because the eyeballs will rotate around in the socket and it's quite weird now what you can do is um, you could actually uh, create another point that would be an up node and uh, create helpers point I'm placing it in perspective well, I'm sorry in the front I just want to make sure that it's dead aligned so I will dead center I will shift a to the top bone in this case and just move it a little bit front 
this helper is linked to the uh, to the eye bone I'm um, sorry head bone so I'll select hold it link it to the head and when I'm moving the head now this point is traveling with that one okay so it's like a, a marker that always shows the ideal top position for the eyes now I'm selecting the eyeball uh, left one or right one anyway uh, and uh, if I'm not renamed it properly okay I will copy the name change the name of the point and that will be I upload selecting the eyeball going to the motion panel and uh, where we have the look at constraint uh, I will also find something that's called upnode control or select upnode now I have to untick world and instead of none I will pick the upnode here at the top and now it just uh, simply switched over and there's something another thing happening that's I'm not really happy with that now upnode control is not based on axis alignment in this case upnode control is defined by the look at control we just adjusted so I will switch back to look at and now I have the upnode adjusted so this will be the same I have this guy here and uh, instead of world I will select none clicking on upnode make it look at this keep it as it is hit on look at and in this case the other one is also look at so don't just change from axis alignment to look at upnode control and now uh, opening up material editor here we go this is the eye area and I'm um, switching back from gradient type for four corner to a radial one and uh, now we are just one step from uh, from the goal and that is this particular uh, controller never being frozen so I'm pressing alt right click and freeze transform yes I want to keep it uh, this way and when I'm moving it away and uh, can always transform to zero and switch back the position in space okay so when you move the head this guy will always look at the target so now you can animate the target as well so looking here looking there okay this is this is it this is how it works so I'm selecting these guys transform to zero look at front left perspective okay that's fine now uh, later on we will put these bones in uh, helpers um, to another layer and the only thing you will see is the actual controllers and the mesh okay in that case you you, you cannot really accidentally move things away or mess things up uh, that's a good point and right now eye orientation is fine and now uh, and all the rigging is uh, done so uh, this is for the bones the facial expressions will be driven uh, with the uh, morphers and uh, specific controllers so thank you. See you next time. Goodbye.